Hello, my name is Christopher Coates and I am the editor of Whiskey Magazine. It's my great pleasure to welcome you to the Australian instalment of our regional Icons of Whiskey Award for 2021. This event is sponsored by Amarim Top Series, Cask Nolia, Christie's, Glencairn Crystal, Sticklana Harasnik, Larkfire, McLaren Packaging, Scotch Bonnet, The Glen Turret and West Rock. Thanks to all of those sponsors for helping us to make these awards possible. Before we get underway, I'd encourage you to please give this video a like and either follow or subscribe to whichever social channel you happen to be watching on. Now, under usual circumstances, this ceremony, which is just one of seven held worldwide, would be quite the event with great food, more than one or two drams, and of course, the fabulous company of our friends, colleagues, and partners from around the world. Our awards are a key date in the whiskey industry's global calendar, and they offer an opportunity for the regional whiskey industries of America, Australia, China, India, Ireland, Scotland, and the rest of the world to come together and celebrate the very best people, places, and products in their respective whiskey industries. Now, for obvious reasons, we have been unable to hold in-person events this past year. However, though this is a change from the norm, there is a silver lining. Our new approach allows for whiskey fans around the globe to tune in via our live social media channels and share in all of the excitement. Now, every year I reflect on these awards and I find myself absolutely in awe of just how many talented people are involved in bringing each and every dram to the glasses of whiskey drinkers all over the world. From the distillers themselves, to the still makers and coopers, warehouse staff, visitor centre managers and bartenders, not to mention the expertise of the dedicated brand teams at each company's headquarters. Wherever you look, a great deal of craftsmanship, skill and specialist knowledge is used at every single point along the chain that brings a bottle of whisky to our homes. Whiskey Magazine's Icons of Whiskey Awards were founded to honour these incredible individuals and the distilleries, shops and bars that they represent. This is our chance to thank the people and the producers for their dedication to each innovative release, unique visitor experience and the expert service that they work tirely to deliver every single day. Each year, our Icons of Whiskey are nominated and voted for by the industry. Now that's not to say that myself and my colleagues don't have some hand in it and each year we form a panel and uh, we include our most trusted contributing editors, our global partners and we bring them together to discuss nominees, uh, debate tiebreakers where voting was tight and ultimately finalise the results. Though all of our categories are equally prestigious, in these interesting times that we live in it seems appropriate to highlight one or two that feel particularly pivotal. As the realities of the climate crisis become apparent, responsible distillers are improving their green credentials. And as a result, the category of sustainable distillery has become very hotly contested. Hopefully this trend will continue as whiskey makers push one another to not only make a great tasting product, but one that keeps environmental impact to an absolute minimum. In the world of travel and hospitality, our bar awards celebrate those best places to drink and those individuals who make the experience of enjoying a dram or a whiskey cocktail more than just the sum of its parts. Now, during this very difficult time for the travel industry and bars in particular, it has never been more important to support these businesses and the people who work for them. Visitor attractions have also been challenged, but we've been amazed by the innovative ways in which these sites have been keeping in touch with their adoring public quite often via social media. As always, we have been absolutely inspired by all of our nominees, and if there's one thing that seems to unite them all, it's their insatiable thirst to be better tomorrow than they were today. So we're going to begin the Icons of Whiskey Awards for Australia with our Whiskey Bar Awards, starting with Bartender of the Year. Now our nominees in this particular category are exceptional individuals who consistently deliver a superior customer experience. They have a superb knowledge of whiskies and are strongly versed in related areas such as cocktails, whisky pairings, and using that knowledge to deliver an amazing experience every time someone walks through the doors of their bar. 
these individuals will have achieved considerable success, which might include milestones such as spearheading new customer experiences, leading menu development or competition wins. Obviously, for this year, we've been looking at their longer track turn track record. Anyway, here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Bill Eng of Tokyo Bird. And the winner is Daniel Gregory of Evolve Spirits. Next up is the Bar Manager of the Year. Now this individual must be a manager of a bar that specialises in whisky, that consistently delivers high standards and has demonstrated considerable business success over the last few years. Of course, the last 12 months have been particularly challenging for bars and this year we have also looked to those managers who have inspired us with their response to the crisis. Historically, we also expect them to have done a great job at sourcing and maintaining an excellent portfolio of whiskies. We expect them to have recruited and retained a highly skilled team that also know their stuff when it comes to, uh, to having a jam. And they would also be delivering a consistently high quality level of training to their teams, spearheading new initiatives uh, that heighten customer experience and thinking about things like menu development and whiskey cocktail competition wins, whether that's for themselves or their team. Anyway, here's the short list. The highly commended award goes to Julian White of Whiskey and Ailment. And the winner is Garrett Kinder of Helvetica. Next up is Hotel Bar of the Year. Now, this category considers hotel bars that are accessible for both residents and non residents, which specialise in whiskey. And this really should be one of the key selling points, both of the bar but also of the hotel itself. The highly commended award goes to the Whiskey Room at the Clock Hotel Sydney. And the winner is Grain Bar of the Four Seasons Hotel in Sydney. Our next category is Bar Group of the Year. This is open to bar groups that offer an outstanding range of whiskies. They must all have superior staff knowledge across all of their sites and excellence in associated experiences such as cocktails, tasting flights or food pairing. And this must be consistent across all locations. Of course, this has been a challenging year, so we've looked to groups that have also responded innovatively. The highly commended award goes to Swill House Group. And the winner is the Speakeasy Group. Our next category is Whiskey Bar of the Year. To be considered, the bar must offer an outstanding range of whiskies. All of their staff must be incredibly well versed in the sale and service of whiskey, and we must demonstrate excellence in at least one associated experience, whether that be cocktails, tasting flights, or food pairing. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Helvetica. And the winner is Elysian Whiskey Bar. That's all for our bar categories. We'll be back in a moment with more. We now move on to our Whiskey Retailer Awards. The first category is Whiskey Buyer of the Year. Now to succeed in this category, the winner must have a track record of resourcefulness and professionalism and have delivered significant achievement over the past 12 months. The highly commended award goes to Sven Almenning of the Speakeasy Group. And the winner is Brad Wright of singlemalt.com.au. Our next category is Online Retailer of the Year. To be considered, this website must deliver an online whiskey retail experience that has displayed particular excellence in range, customer service and innovation in the last 12 months. So, here's the shortlist. The highly commended nominee is The Old Barrel House. 
And the winner is Casa de Vinos. Our next category is single outlet retailer. Now this is a single store that has displayed particular excellence in range, customer service and innovation in the last year. We pay particular attention to those stores which have responded particularly strongly to the challenges that they've recently encountered. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Casa de Vinos. And the winner is World of Whiskey. Now, this next category is Multiple Outlets Retailer. Now, this is a retailer with more than one store that, again, has displayed excellence in those same criteria as the single outlet retailer. Again, we looked particularly at those groups that have responded particularly well to the restrictions of the last year. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Plonk. And the winner is Dan Murphy's. Now that concludes our Whiskey Retailer Awards for Australia. We now move on to our Distillery People Awards and we're starting with American Whiskey Brand Ambassador of the Year. Nominees in this category are individuals who have excelled in promoting both their own American whiskey brands and the wider category. They've expanded their brand's reach and exposure beyond the conventional audience by hopefully using new methods and channels. Importantly, they must be based in Australia. The highly commended award goes to Simon Hopkins of Angel's Envy. And the winner is Talita Owls of Brown Foreman Australia. Our next category is Irish Whiskey Brand Ambassador of the Year. The rules are the same as before, but of course they must represent an Irish whiskey and be based in Australia. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Martin Lynch of Teeling. And the winner is Andy Ratcliffe of Bushmills. Now, our next category is Scotch Whiskey Brand Ambassador of the Year. Again, those rules are the same, but it must be a Scotch Whiskey Ambassador. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Matt Bailey of SMWS. And the winner is James McRae of Elsa Bay. Our next category is Distillery Manager of the Year. This one is open only to distillery managers that have made a significant contribution to their business, products and or community in the past year. Now here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Michelle Burns of the Ailing Distillery. And the winner is Jane Overeem of Overeem Distillery. Our next category is Master Distiller or Master Blender of the Year. Now, all of these nominees are highly skilled individuals with more than 15 years experience in spirit production. They must be responsible for all aspects of whiskey production and that goes from the raw materials through to the final cast selection, blending and determining the house style of the distillery. Here's the short list. The highly commended award goes to Timothy Duckett of Hartwood. And the winner is Patrick Maguire of Sullivan's Cove. Now that concludes our Distillery People Awards for Australia. We now move on to our Whiskey Producer Awards, which are sponsored by Glencairn Crystal. Before we move on to the first category, here's a message from Glencairn. Back in a mo. Glencairn Crystal are a leading manufacturer of bespoke crystal and glass, 
and for over three decades this family business has gained an international reputation for fine crystal and glassware. Based in Scotland, the company has been built on a commitment to personal service and quality marksmanship, and is perhaps best known by its customers for their world-famous Glencairn whisky glass. In the industry, however, they are known as leading global experts in packaging for super premium spirits and have been supplying the whisky industry with creative, premium, quality glassware for over 30 years. Proud to work with great whisky companies and their brands, the Glencairn team's unique knowledge of the crystal glassware industry means that they can answer the most challenging of questions and tackle the most complex of tasks with ease. And we're back. Now it's time for our very first producer category, which is Visitor Attraction of the Year. This is open to venues that excel in informing, educating and entertaining consumers. To be considered, the attraction must have demonstrated significant achievement over the last few years. Usually this would be a particular focus on visitor numbers, new developments and community outreach. And of course the latter has been particularly pivotal this year, so we've been looking at those that have particularly well responded and kept in touch with their fans during this difficult time. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to the Ailing Distillery. And the winner is Starwood. Our next category is Brand Innovator. Now, these nominees have demonstrated commendable creative thinking in their product creation and or brand marketing in the past 12 months. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Ferno Distillery Company. And the winner is Archie Rose Distilling Company. Our next category is Sustainable Distillery. To be considered, there must be evidence of the implementation of improved sustainability processes within the distillery and the wider supply chain that have led to demonstrable reductions in the distillery and the brand's environmental impact. Particular credit is given when such initiatives also benefit the local community and the distribution network. So here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Joadja Distillery. And the winner is Lord Byron Distillery. Our next category is Craft Producer of the Year. Now, a craft producer is a distillery that uses a combination of traditional and innovative methods to distill its own product on site. Furthermore, the annual case sales should be no more than 52,000. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Riverborn Distillery. And the winner is Ferno Distillery Company. Our next category is Distiller of the Year. This is open to a distilling company that has displayed significant commercial, brand marketing, product, corporate responsibility and or personnel developments across multiple areas of the business in the past 12 months. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended award goes to Archie Rose Distilling Company. And the winner is Lark Distillery. We now move on to our Communication Awards, which are sponsored by McLaren Packaging. We'll now take a moment to hear a message from them. Be right back. Established in 1979 as an independent supplier of corrugated cases to the whisky industry, McLaren Packaging is a family-run company, one that supplies a large range of customers from small, independent operators through to large, multinational organisations. Employing more than 210 people and operating across five sites in central Scotland, McLaren specialise in the design and manufacture of premium, paper-based packaging for the spirits industry and apply over 40 years of expertise across a wide range of paper substrates to meet their customers' requirements and deliver added value for their brands and products. 
From high quality flexographic printing to award winning shaped composite tubes and rigid boxes, McLaren Packaging leads on innovation, quality and service. And we're back. Our first Communication Awards category is Communicator of the Year. Nominees here are outstanding whisky communicators and may appear in print, on social media, or in the mainstream media, or perhaps a mixture of all of those. Here's the shortlist. The highly commended nominee is Andrew Durbage of Whiskey and Wisdom. And the winner is David Ligoff of Alchemist Events. Our next category is Advertising Agency. Nominees must have produced one or more outstanding advertising campaigns for their whisky industry clients in the last 12 months. Now we don't have a shortlist here, but we do have a winner, and that winner is Buffett Digital. Next up is PR Agency of the Year. This can be entered by agencies that have, over the past 12 months, managed their whisky industry clients' PR effectively and delivered significant coverage across all forms of media. Now, this year there is no shortlist, but we do have a winner, and that winner is Agent 99 PR. Our final category is the Design Agency of the Year. Now this can be entered by agencies that have, over the past 12 months, managed their whisky industry clients' design and packaging and delivered a significant brand refresh or update across multiple products. And the winner is Zendok Design. Well, that's that, and that concludes our final Icons of Whiskey Awards for Australia. Congratulations to all of our winners and all of our nominees. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the presentation of Icons of Whiskey Australia for 2021. Thank you to all of those who nominated and voted for our winners, and thanks again to our sponsors. They are Amarim Top Series, Casknolia, Christie's, Glencairn Crystal, Steklana Harasnik, Larkfire, McLaren Packaging, Scotch Bonnet, The Glen Turret, and West Rock. Now do remember all of our winners from Australia will now go head to head with the respective winners from America, China, India, Ireland, Scotland and the rest of the world. After careful consideration by our panel, only one will emerge victorious as the global icon of whisky for each category. Now these final results will be announced in late March, both online through a similar presentation to this and also in Whisky Magazine issue 174. All of the results of this particular award will appear in issue 173, which publishes this week, and they'll also be shared on our website, whiskeymag.com. So, all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for joining me for this incredible celebration, and don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe to whichever of our social channels you've been watching on. Cheers. <laughs>